In this video, I'm going to talk about VLLMs. So I've been reading about VLLMs because I want to know more about how to deploy and serve models. So this video will be broken down into three main sections. We're going to talk about what it is and how it works, why is it cheaper, and how can I potentially use it or how can you potentially use it. We are going to be using a Llama 3.1 model to deploy and serve using Google Colab. Now, typically you would deploy it and serve it using your own machine. So, so for example, your own home server or an AWS Google Cloud Platform server or any server of your choice. But nevertheless, the code and implementation should be similar from different platforms. So let's talk about what VLLM is. By the way, I make similar videos like these on LLMs, machine learning and other data science tools. So please feel free to subscribe. So VLLMs, why bother? VLLMs is a way to deploy models and deploying models in general have been known to be quite complicated. And not only that, it's quite expensive and time consuming when you're deploying a model, especially if you want to deploy distributed VLLMs, you have to have a machine learning engineer and a lot of experts in house to be able to do it. VLLM is a tool that allows you to do it. It's an open source package. Now, if you've been following me in my channel, I've actually made videos on how to deploy using AWS SageMaker. And there are many different ways of deploying using AWS or Google Cloud Platform, and they're quite easy to do in today's day and age. But the thing is, you are vendor locked, which means you're stuck with that platform and they can be quite expensive, even though they're quite easy to do. VLLM kind of solves that problem. So what is it? What is VLLM? VLLM is a state-of-the-art throughput package that has a leading performance in LLM serving. I've spoken with a lot of companies in my consultancy calls, and they all have started or have been using VLLMs to serve their customers. Under the bonnet, they have something called a page attention, which is an efficient memory management for large knowledge models. This takes inspiration from KV cache values, and they made some modifications to make it page attention. Now, to be quite honest with you, I don't know exact details about how it works, but essentially, it increases the efficiency of LLMs. And it also has backward compatibility with Hugging Face, which means you can use your favorite pre-trained models or fine-tuned models to be able to serve them in a simple way. Not only that, it has flexible decoding and quantization, which means unless you have a 70 billion parameter model, you can reduce the size of that model by using QLORA or LoRa and serve it through VLLMs, which not only requires less memory, but also higher throughput. So which type of models can you actually deploy? VLLMs actually supports different modalities and most open source models. Let's look into the documentation. Now this is the documentation for VLLMs. And as we can see on the left-hand side over here, you have installations on your local computer or the machine that you're using. You can install it with TPUs, XPUs, and many different ones. And then you can actually use it using OpenAI, compatible server, deploy it through Docker, and also distribute inference and serving. Now, coming back to the topic of different models that you can use, there are different supported models over here, and you can use various hugging face models listed over here. You can use Llama, Gemma 2, and various different models that are listed over here. And not only that, you can also use vision language model. If you're interested into that, it has different modalities for support. Now, I'm not sure if they actually allow using audio models, if not, I'm not quite sure about that, but nevertheless, you have these. Okay, now that we have talked about what VLLM is, now let's see how we can actually serve and deploy a Llama 3.1 model using VLLM. Now, typically, you would have this in your local machine, you would do it in your VS Code and Terminal, but in this case, I'm using a Google Colab, just to kind of make it easier for you guys to hopefully understand how it works. So first things first, you will have to install these two packages. We have installed the VLLMs and we have installed the Hugging Face Hub which we will use to log in and get our credentials. Now, what we have to do is we have to serve our model. So simply what we are going to do, if we're going to write V LLM serve meta, well, actually I'm going to copy this. By the way, this is the meta Llama 3.1 model from Hugging Face. So you say exact same, essentially using any Hugging Face model that is also supported from V LLM and you can just use it over here. And then we can write the type auto, we can write API key. And this API key can be anything. You can keep it empty if you want to, but right now over here, we're gonna keep it token ABC123, because why not? And this is how you guys can run the, or actually serve the Meta Llama 301 model. Now, here's the thing, because we will be using an open AI package to interact with the model, this has to run in the background. And this poses a challenge when you're doing it in a Google Colab environment. So to bypass that problem, what we will do is we're going to write no hop and then we're going to write and. And what this will do is this is going to execute this and keep it running in the background. And to do that, we'll take one more extra step. We're going to write pip install openai. 
and then we can run it. Now currently the model is running on an A100 GPU in this Colab environment. If you want to deploy it using a much lesser GPU, let's say an L4 or something else that doesn't take as much compute power, that you may need to quantize the model. I'm gonna make a video about that very, very soon. There you go. So currently it's being deployed and served in the background. So you may need to wait a little bit as we've installed the OpenAI package. So if we go to our content directory, we will see a file called nohub.out where you can see the logs of the model that is being deployed. So you may need to wait a little bit until it is fully up and running in the background. So what we can do right now is we can write from OpenAI and initialize the client. What we will do is we're going to write base URL. We're going to use the local host V1. That's because this model is being hosted in localhost 8000 inside of this Go Colab environment. And then we're going to pass in the API key, which we defined over here, token ABC123. And after that, we can start to chat with our model. And now we just run it. Now it seems like we're getting an API connection, over, connection error over here. Now this does happen from time to time. That's because we are doing it inside of a Google Colab environment. If you're running it in your local machine, you will probably not encounter these type of issues. So all you guys have to do is just rerun this thing or wait a bit until it's completely up and running in the background. And there you go. As we can see in the no hop out again on the logs, we're seeing that it downloaded the model over here. Now it's actually starting to serve and it's saying Ubicon running on HTTP 8000, which is a local host over here. So if you try again, it should be running with no problem. And there you go. I've asked the question, what's your name? I'm an artificial intelligent model known as Llama. Llama stands for large language model meta AI. We can ask something else as well. So let's say who is the best basketball player of recent generation. I really hope it says LeBron James. Yes, there you go. Number one, LeBron James. Second, Kevin Durant. And then third, Stephen Curry. And I'm glad it actually answered in the correct way. I'm just glad it didn't say anything about Michael Jordan. Although he was amazing back in the day, but currently it's LeBron. All right, guys, so that is how you can deploy and serve Meta Lama 3.1 8 billion instruct using. I hope you found this video insightful. If you guys did, please feel free to subscribe. I make similar videos like these. All right, guys, I hope to see you in my next video. Have a nice day.